Hello VC. First off, I'd like to say thank you for all the kind words, the likes, and the well wishes on my first video. I was completely blown away. I did not expect that. Today, I thought I'd share with you a few records that I've been fortunate enough to get autographed over the years. Starting with Kilroy Was Here from Styx. We went to see Dennis DeYoung at the fair in Chippewa Falls a few years ago. He saw that I had this and a pen and I was dancing around the front, year, front row. He stopped the show and he says, what's your name? I says, Mike. He calls me up. He signs it from the stage to Mike, Dennis DeYoung. A few years later, I did the meet and greet with him and he signed my copy of The Grand Illusion. This is an amazing record. Next up, this one's for Aaron Mutha Alamare. I got Bruce Kulik from KISS to sign Hot in the Shade. He was playing with Grand Funk Railroad at the time. Here's Bruce here. I caught a pick from him at the show later that night. Next up, Billy Ocean. We went over to Treasure Island to see Starship, Billy Ocean, Taylor Dane, Greg Kinn, and the Motels. They each played about four or five songs. It was a great day of music. We were in the second row, and Billy Ocean spotted my wife holding this record and a pen, and he motioned for her to come up so he could sign it. When my wife got up to the stage, security tackled her, and Billy taps him on the shoulder, stop that. And then he signs it, Love and Kisses, Billy Ocean. So this one will forever have a place in my heart. Little known fact about Billy Ocean, he's got three lungs. Next up, Night Ranger, Dawn Patrol. Got this signed by Jack Blades, Brad Gillis, Carrie Keeley at the Fair in Chippewa. They also signed my copy of Seven Wishes. Night Ranger's amazing band, just put out another great record. Next, Blue Oyster Cult. Went to the fair in Marshfield about five years ago. They said Blue Oyster Cult is not signing anything. Then they spotted my wife holding some enchanted evening and a pen. Buck Dharma comes over and he says, would you like me to get Eric to sign that too? Buck Dharma and Eric Bloom. Don't Fear the Reaper is one of my all-time favorite songs. It's probably my top three. We saw these guys just about three weeks ago and I caught a pick from Eric. They are still killing it. Next up, Eddie Money. The first time I saw Eddie Money, I was a very lonely young man. I was 15 years old, I just moved to a new town. I went to see him warm up for the Almond Brothers. I told Eddie Money that story as he was signing this record. And he says to me, I bet we blew them away. I said, yeah, you did, Eddie. Then he added a little heart. Eddie loved to sign things. He'd wait in the lobby after a show and sign things for everybody. He signed his first record for my wife here. To Gail, love ya, Eddie Money. He also had a great signature. This is my favorite Eddie Money record. No Control. He signed this one, Mike, Rock and Roll, Eddie Money. In my opinion, this one should be in everybody's collection and Eddie Money should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now friends, when I was about six years old, my father taped a piece of paper to my bedroom door and it said, Wolf Credo, respect the elders, teach the young, cooperate with the pack. Play when you can, hunt when you must, rest in between. Share your affections, voice your feelings, and leave your mark. Peace, friends, and we'll talk soon.